Hi viewers, welcome to exam time today. I am Kalesh Bosam, working as an assistant professor. I want to discuss a topic of microprocessor. Now we will move on to the introduction to the microprocessor. Microprocessor is the most important component of the digital computer system. It acts as the brain of the computer system. As technology has progressed, microprocessor has become smaller, faster, capable of doing more work per single clock cycle and sometimes it refers to as a MUP. Now we will move on to the definition of the microprocessor. What is microprocessor? Microprocessor is the controlling unit or CPU of the microcomputer system fabricated on very small chip capable of doing ALU operations and communicating with the devices externally connected to it. Now, we will see the what are the important parameters of any So, here the following are the important parameters of any microprocessor. They are, how many address lines does it have? How many data lines does it have? And what is the operating frequency that is clock frequency? So, so these are the important parameters of for any microprocessor. And here, now we will see the digital blocks of the uh, digital computer. Now, these are the following blocks of digital computer system. They are the input block, the control logic block, the ALU block, and the memory block, and finally, the output block. Here, the combination of control logic block and ALU block called central processing unit. Here, we need to consider an important point that is ALU size. What is ALU size? Suppose if ALU size is of 4 bits, that means the processor is going to process the 4 bit data. Suppose if you want to perform addition of 2 4 bit binary numbers, it requires single clock cycle. Suppose if you want to perform addition or subtraction operation of 2 8 bit numbers, it requires 2 clock cycles and so on. So that is what about ALU size. Next, we will move on to the evolution of the microprocessor. Coming to the point of evolution of the microprocessor, the microprocessor has become most essential component of many gadgets. And Intel introduced a 4-bit microprocessor in the year of 1971 and a 8-bit microprocessor in the year of 1972. But these two microprocessors could not survive as general purpose because of their design and performance limitations. And these limitations leads to launching of an advanced microprocessor. But we need to see what are the limitations of an 8-bit microprocessor. So these are the following limitations of an 8-bit microprocessor. They are low speed, low, address, low memory addressing capability, less number of registers required, less number of powerful instruction set present. So these are the limitations present with respect to the 8-bit microprocessor. So these limitations leads to the launching of the eight, uh, advanced microprocessor. Next, in the figure we will observe the different set of microprocessors in the table. If you observe the first one, what we have here is 8080 which was introduced in the year of 1974 and which is having the 6000 number of transistors and having a data width of 8 bits and working with the clock speed of 2 megahertz. So the entire classification is based on number of transistors, based on data width and working speed. Next immediate of 8080, the another set of microprocessor what we have here 8085 which was introduced in the year of 1976 and having the data width of 8 bit and working with the speed of 5 megahertz. Comparing to 8080, in the 8085 the speed has been improved. That is the working speed, the clock speed has been improved to 2 megahertz to 5 megahertz. As later technology has improved, the performance of microprocessor has been improved. That is based on the number of transistors, based on the data width and the clock frequency have, have been improved. And in the table, if you observe the last set of four categories, that is Pentium, Pentium 2, Pentium 3, Pentium 4, these categories considered to be have a superscalar architecture. And what is superscalar architecture? That we will have a separate session while entering into the topic. If you have any queries, please comment on comment section. Please do like, share and subscribe.